up, Minecraft down here. Sorry, I had to spell like doing that. Anyway, welcome to the very first Let's Make or Let's Build episode. I already set up a save up or thingamajig called Board King Kingdom, and I've been working on it a bit, but not too much. So I spawned in a flat world like this, and this is what it looks like right now. Looks okay, looks awesome. Uh, so I decided to build the very first intersection here, yeah, intersection one. I can fix <laughs> anyway. So, what as what the map suggests, uh, or what it implies, which is board king kingdom, uh, of course, there would be board uh, Minecraft style board games. So, I'm going to do some crazy things. Uh, like for example, uh, make Monopoly or Clues or uh, Sorry or all those games that I can think of and that I've played before. That's what I'm going to do. So yeah. So what I've decided to do here, or what the design is going to be, is that for each path or some paths, I'm going to have like a lamppost style. So they would be overhanging. So when it's night time, which I can demonstrate in a minute, uh, midnight. This is what it will look like. And right now, what I think is that it looks not amazing, but you know, absolutely fantastic. Because to me, I think that never bricks and sandstone goes absolutely well together. Maybe not to some people, maybe yes to a lot. Uh, I mean, not a lot, but to some. Why did I say a lot? Anyway, uh, yeah, maybe it's because I was self admiring about. Mm, or not self admiring, most likely I'm just admiring uh, on how awesome it looks right now. I'm not saying it looks awesome, I'm just saying that's what I think. Or saying what I actually think uh, to me. So I'm going to raise this higher. Right now it looks dark. So I'm, so I'm deciding to raise this uh, uh, lamp posts, if you would like to call them lamp posts, higher. And yeah, I decided to do this because I'm quite bored right now, even though. It is the holidays. So yeah. Actually, I've been thinking. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I like this better. So my idea was. Yeah, I found my mouse. If you can hear that clicking sound in the background, maybe, maybe not. Depends, but yeah. Anyway, um, I. Uh, what was I about to say? Gosh, I have a short attention span. Uh, anyway, most likely it's nothing important. So, yeah. Put that there. Oh, no, not there. Ah, not there. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. And, <clears throat> yeah, the, it's about the village. Now, the village, of course, um, I'm going to do some things with the village. Most of them I'm going to keep, including the villagers inside. Hello, little man. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? Maybe just switch your door so that it will be better. So, yeah. The villagers, of course. I'm keeping them. Oh, no. I'm not having a ghost them. Not yet. And, yeah. I'm, I'm basically keeping all of the villagers here, and if I decide to do something in my mind, I'm going to do it. Well, not in mind, I mean about the village, then yeah, I'm going to do it then. And this is a multiplayer map, which means you can play this with your friends, family, whatever, your choice, not mine. 
So how am I supposed to do this? Two bucks. Okay, if I'm going to do something like this, I must have two blocks. And I'm going to remove this lamppost. Because it looks ugly, to be honest. Well, actually, it's not ugly, it's just... Uh, you know. I wish they haven't removed the feature where... Uh, the hatches stays... Uh, I wish they implement the feature where hatches stays on uh, glowstone. So, so that's what I really want again. I really want back because ever since they turned uh, glowstone into glass, or not glass, into a transparent block, uh, most of the aesthetics, aesthetics part of Minecraft uh, has been removed, which totally sucks. So yeah. I'm quite overwhelmed and sad that that has happened. I mean, close, uh, glowstone is actually a, not really um, that big of a deal, but <sighs> yeah. So right now I'm working on a village. Uh. I should actually just stop here. Yeah, so next to the gravel is the metal bricks. So, yeah. Just like that. And then they will have the uh, fence. The lamp posts for over here now. I am not actually sure. Hmm. Okay, now this is tough because I don't actually want to like remove this grass patch because then it doesn't actually look mm, fitting, it doesn't actually look very well. With each other, but eh, I might think about that and I'll go back to that later. Where's the gravel when I needed it? Just grab one from here because I'm more used to too many items than creative. Because creative isn't really actually organized, they just decide to put them in a random mumble jumble order. Which I can see that there is maybe, uh, maybe uh, an organize, uh, maybe a way of them organizing like uh, stone, then ores, then bricks, then wire clay here. I'm not sure. Then uh, resource ores or blocks like uh, jewels, jewelry, you know. And so on, which is kind of confusing sometimes. While too many items, they organize them in uh, block ID. So uh, I'd rather remember the block ID than remember the organization of it of the creative menu. So yeah, that type of person. Now this part, this part over here. Um, um, I can't actually do much. Wait, I can. I just have to remove these, but then it gets dark. So, how are we supposed to fix this? We're just gonna have to... Well, I was actually planning on doing this. Putting uh, fences on both sides, but then... What is the point? That is the question. What is the point? So, I'll just leave that there, just like that, and I'll let them work on the outside, just like that. So most of this, so most for this episode is just, we're going to work on uh, 
putting the fences around uh, the, the village. Yeah, it's starting to take shape, to be honest. This is actually quite a quick job. I, I'm not sure how long it's been already. I'm thinking it's already been five, ten minutes. Not really too sure about the time. So yeah. Now to be honest, I had to kill two villagers because you know, uh, usually um, NPC villagers spawn in. Uh, oops spawn in two buildings that is open so yeah and it should be starting like you know you know how villages uh churches i think this, this is a church spawn in and there's like this gigantic missing part that's what i hate about uh the churches and the, the villages because they're like not actually perfect. Yeah, uh, they just just rushed. So that's what I was. Dis so I'm quite disappointed on that. What was that block for? I'm guessing design. Yeah. Oh well. good enough for this episode for you guys to see uh, you can't get out <laughs> okay actually when I finish then I'll get you guys you know I don't actually mind if they can find a way on getting out, I just want them to have fun because this area, or what I'm going to actually call it, is to be actually referred on Western. You might call it a Latin name. That would be an Easter egg because most. Uh, I'm planning on making maps and. Okay, this is really, really weird. So I can't put in a fence here, but I can put in a fence here, it's not fair. Two, eight, one, two, three, yep, yeah. Anyway, so what I was, I'm, usually I make like maps and then I s decide to not make the maps, because it's like a decision where the map is for me sucky and it's not in a reasonable perception or not perception but not in the it's not like reasonable for me to and what I think of it is like this sucks or whatever well while in the end it actually doesn't but what I usually think of is about my friends or whoever plays it and what they think of of the map that I'm going to give them. So, yeah, usually that usually that happens, and yeah. Anyway, that's not what I was about to talk. Uh, I'm talking about what I usually name them or name my maps sometimes. Uh, when I'm out of ideas with names, I usually I grab Google Translator and thus name them in Latin. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I just named something that I was thinking about, like, uh, if I think of unreasonable death, well, that is what the place is, then I just go to Google Translator and go to Latin and type in unreasonable death and I get the name. So, that's what I usually do to my, not maps, but, you know, things. I'm actually, I'm absolutely not sure how long I've been doing this. I've been feeling that I've been already doing this for 15 minutes. Because if I'm having so much fun, or if I'm just having fun, uh, time flies. And that's actually quite noticeable. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. It actually depends on what type of fun you're having. So, so yeah. Okay, so I don't have anything to talk about that is relative to Minecraft and time. So it looks like I'm decide I'm going to plan B on talking. And that is a piece of me not literally but still a piece of me is when i talk about myself a little fact about myself like a piece of cupcake or a piece of quake yeah a piece of quake mm -hmm. uh from i has cupcake yes yes i know her well not know her but i watch her videos uh, <laughs> and yeah. Anyway, so piece of me. I'm actually I know that I'm a nerd or somewhat a nerd, but I'm not that type of nerd where I want to just work, work, work. I don't want to offend any other people who are nerds. And I respect that. I respect their life. I don't want to bully them or anything. But for geeks like me, I'm a much. I'm a big gamer. Um, I love games. I love playing games. Of course, who doesn't? <laughs> but still, um, I know this is not food blocks, but hey, anyway, um, I'm also a geek. I know that, but just looking at the past, I know I've done many things that others doesn't, or what they do, but I mean, you know, that, oh, how did you, how did you two get over here? Because I'm going to have an inspection. Anyway, um, yeah, well, it's tough, it's tough to say, oh wait, that was the blacksmith. Oh damn, I just killed two blacksmiths. Just realized that. Oh god. Anyway, back to the piece of me. Anyway, um, now in my school, of course, as I started from there, um, there are many people. Uh, I consider myself a geek, and I know that as well. I try not to actually play uh, my computer, but. It's just too addicting. It's an addiction, like a drug. But yeah, and there's also this uh thing in our school where you can bring laptops. Our school is an ESF school or an IB school. If you know what that is, um, yeah. To be honest, and when every time when it's lunch or it's break. I usually go downstairs to the cafeteria and I notice that there are absolutely tons and tons and I just can't explain it. Um, I was one of them once but now I'm not, I, even if you see me become one, I'm trying my best not to actually do that. And I, so, 
Oh uh, yeah, there are absolutely tons and tons of kids a year younger than us, and they are all swearing, cursing at each other, playing. Uh, I think Urban Terror or Call of Duty multiplayer, and they're like shouting uh, at each other, and yeah, they just. Uh, I just can't. You know, it's just an absolute horror to see that. I mean, even even I know I was one of them once, and I try not to like get near them, even though I'm older than them. Um, uh, yeah, but it's just absolute horror to see them playing gun games and swearing at them. I'm actually not a fan of uh, first-person shooter games. I'm more of an indie type of game guy who likes indie games like Minecraft. Minecraft is absolutely the best game I can ever think of playing. But I try my best not to actually play Minecraft every day. <laughs> Reminds me of a song. Anyway, yeah. I'm almost finished. So, yeah. That is a piece of me. I know I'm a geek and I'm somewhat a nerd. I personally do not like homework, but sometimes I make homework fun to do. So, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends on my personality or what it is. Yeah. Anyway, so that is a piece of me. And I hope you enjoyed this episode after I finished placing the fences. Uh, yeah. And of course, this is board, uh, board Game Kingdom. Uh, currently, I'm just working on the village, so not really much of a deal right now. Working on the board game is um uh what's that word? Hmm forgot that word. Anyway it's imp it's important to work on it and if I don't then what is the actual point of uh board game kingdom? So yeah. Anyway I'll try and find some board games that I want to create, like, oh, Snakes and Ladders, I remember that now. Tic-Tac-Toe is not really a board game, but I try, if I, my best, to work on that. Anyway, um, yeah, let's actually block this area off, because they are no use to us. Ha 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 ha. Alright, we're done. Out of order. <laughs> Oh, oops, not the order. Alright, now that we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys later. I wish there was a sunset right now. Just a sunset would do my day. Um, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, sorry, I felt like doing that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let's make. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye and.